Here's a few benchmarks for the RTX 4080 and there's something you should watch out for as well. Obviously, these are first party Nvidia benchmarks, so as always, take them with a grain of salt. So the really cool thing is that the 4080 16 gig is outperforming even the last gen's 3090 Ti, but the 4080 12 gig version isn't outperforming the 3090 Ti. In fact, it seems to be performing about 30% slower than the 16 gig version on average. Just like you'll be performing performing slower if you don't follow the tech news so you should really do that like right now the 16 gig and 12 gig 4080s are actually completely different gpus with different chips and memory speeds which is a very annoying move by nvidia i mean one of them should have been called the 4070 or there should have been a ti version so it seems that once again we got a pretty gigantic leap in performance however that is also going to largely depend on the price you know for instance of course the 4090 is performing a lot better but it's consuming a lot more watts and it's also way more expensive. So, you know, you gotta pay attention to that price to performance ratio. And also the really annoying thing that Nvidia has done is that the 4080s are actually not 4080s. They're just completely different cards, which is really bad. I mean, for general consumers, a 4080 should be a 4080, right? Oh, one has 12 gigs and one has 16. Well, I don't need 16. I'm still on 1080p or whatever. 12 gigs is fine, but they're completely different GPUs. So here we have a few more specs. So 26% more cores on the 16 gig variant. Of course, it also consumes a lot more wattage and a 256 bit versus 192 bit memory bus, which basically equates to the fact that the 4080 16 gig version is 30% faster than the 12 gig version so just a really bad naming scheme from nvidia you know quite misleading for normal consumers i mean even someone like me would you know take a real quick look without looking to the benchmarks and would assume that they perform generally the same but they don't they really should have called one of them the 4070 or they should have called the 16 gig model the 4080 ti which i guess also is kind of not great because the ti versions usually come out later so then they wouldn't have a ti version available but they should have had like some sort of a better way to differentiate these two gpus i mean one of them one of them just outperforms the other one by a third pretty much like this is this is a dramatic difference, you know, and they're all, they're both the same card. So uh, I, I really don't like the way that they've done this because most people are just gonna think that there's just a difference with how much memory the card has. And the thing is, most people are just gonna be like, oh, the 4080 12 gig is way cheaper and I don't need those four extra gigs of memory because I look at my GPU VRAM memory that's being used while I'm gaming and it's totally fine, so I don't need it, right? Uh, but they are going to be getting a 30% slower GPU, basically. So, I don't know, just, just, just a bad move from NVIDIA.